All right, guys. Welcome to episode 166 of Dope Talk TV. Yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go over to fucking Patreon. Check us out over there. Get yourself some merch. We got some new merch on the way, but you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that. But it's a beautiful Tuesday. We're back with another one, Johnny. How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling, feeling, feeling? good, feeling good. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. You Welcome know what back, I mean? man. Round of applause to the real ones. Round of applause to the real ones, you know what I'm saying, that come back and actually listen to what we got to say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, we just we just chilling. We talking our shit, you know. If you guys are burning, burning that uh, the devil's lettuce. Hey, you know listen, what I mean? No, no devil's lettuce over here, man. Yeah. All right? No devil's lettuce over here. We got a nice little cigar over here, a Romeo and Julieta. Yeah. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? So if you got a little cigar with you. Go ahead, bust your move. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But beside that, you got to go to Patreon and really turn up with us, all right? So if you want to smoke, smoke. You know what I mean? Have a smoke sesh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they. I'm pretty sure they be smoking regardless. Watching us, you know what I mean? Of course. So shout out to all the shout out to everybody, man. But we're back with another one, bro. It's a beautiful Tuesday, and um, yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it, man. You know what grinds my gears? You know what grinds my gears? Is when people only care about their own trauma. And they're not empathetic to their other friends and their other family and other people that go through shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like, I've noticed, the, the older I get, I've noticed that, like, a lot of people, bro, a lot of people, they only care about trauma when it's for their own, from their own shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, like... Well, let's just say like my, you know, my grandfather died, you know, and people be like, man, I'm sorry, you know, like, damn, it sucks. Like people don't really know until it happens to you. You know, it's like, you don't think it's going to happen to you because you just, you just don't. Yeah. It happens though. It happens. And then it just happens and you're like, wow, that shit's crazy. You know? And then people will want to act like they, they know how you feel when it never really happened to them. And it's like, bro, like. Nah, you know, that's why, like, if I've never been in that person's situation, I'll never tell them that. Like, I'll never be like, yo, I know how it feels or whatever, you know? That's a fact. I'll never do that. But the flip side of that, I'll be the devil, you know, play the devil's advocate. The flip side of that is, is that some of your friends do know what the fuck you've been through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you should probably, like, take some advice or, like, go vent to them. Yeah. Because there's certain friends that, like, they've never been through it. So they don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They don't even know what to say to you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because they don't know how it feels. But when you got friends that do know how it feels, go vent to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, go vent to them. And actually, if you're the friend that somebody's coming, you know what I'm saying, to vent to, let them vent without you jumping in, talking about what the fuck happened to you once or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I was I was listening to Jordan Peterson, and he was saying that. He was like, you want to, he's like, if you want to see who your real friends are, give them bad news. And if you give, you know, tell them bad news and they actually listen to you, they, they're your real friend. If they start telling you about how their grandma one time went through one thing with their uncle or whatever the fuck, it's like they're not even listening to you, bro. They're just yeah. trying to they're just trying to like match your, you know, your whatever. Like, And also, uh, bro, that's crazy how you say that, you know, like when it comes to venting, bro, I saw a clip of a guy and he was like, watch who you fucking hang around. Right. He's like, watch who you hang around. If somebody just hits you up to vent, that's all they hit you up as. Yeah. And then it's that's not, not return. Then it's, it's not return. And that's it's, the it's, part. It's not even about the return part. It's more of like, that's all they care about. They feel like you have the, the solution every single time. And then you come in this cycle of just like, every time you come around this person, they're so used to just venting to you that there's always a problem. There's always something going on. Yeah, nah. That's a fact, bro. You know? That's a fucking and fact. And it's like, so what's the relationship based on? Is it just because we hang out and you like, you know, like, is, is it like a genuine connection or is it you just want me to be there for you to vent? Listen, man, as being the, the friend, like everybody that knows me, bro, knows I've always been the shoulder to cry on. Every time anybody needed some fucking venting time, anything, they could call me, they could pull up, we could smoke and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with that. And most people that are like that don't have a problem with that. That's not the problem. The problem is, nigga, when it's my turn, when I'm going through something, when I lost two uncles in one week, you don't give a fuck. 
Like, yeah. you don't give a fuck. And yeah. then that's where it's like, all right, nigga, so why the fuck am I letting you pull up and waste an hour and a half of my time talking my fucking ear off when I can't do the same? You know what I'm saying? When I can't come vent to you yeah. about the same problems. Yeah. And we're both going through something, bro. Yeah. But it's all about you. You know what I'm saying? Instead of it being like, damn, bro, you know what I'm saying? He was there for me. Let me go be there for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really all it comes down to, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's my only, my only problem with that is like, Stop being the shoulder to cry on for people that don't return it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, nigga, like, it's always just about you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. You know those people. We all know those people that it's just, you know, it's just all about you. And to be honest, like, I kind of just try to stay away from that. You know, like, this past week, I've been like, you know what? I'm only going to follow and really, really like, like people's posts if you're really supporting me, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you're just there just to be there, I'm just like, you're just trying to ride on the wave. I'm going to catch on to that. You know what I mean? Facts. I'm going to catch on to that. I'm not like, I'm not that easy to fool. Yeah, I get fooled once in a while, but I'm not that easy to fool. You know what I mean? Yeah, if that makes sense. Get, like, everybody gets I'm fooled. not saying like I don't get fooled, but like, I pay attention to detail, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, I went on this fucking date or like this business thing. I think we, I was talking about earlier and, uh, it made me realize, man, it's like there's people out there that are really intelligent and young at the same time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember a couple episodes back, I was just like, man, like, I think it's just the age thing, you know? And it made me realize, like, bro, like, it's not always about that. You it's know? not. It's not. Because I Round I, of applause to yeah. the younger people that, you know what I'm saying? To the younger people that uh, they've been through it and they, they know what the fuck they want in life and they know what they're talking about. You know what I'm saying? When they talk. Like, she like really wanted to help me. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's it, big, bro. Like, like she really wanted, like she cared. Like, you know, like I told her I was shooting a music video on my birthday and she was like, yo, let me know if you, if you need some, somebody there to help out, you know, cause I'll be there. You know, she started giving me pointers on stuff of, of the business world. Cause she's an artist. Uh, mm -hmm. She's a manager for artists in, in, in central Florida. And I was impressed. I was like, wow, I didn't even know about this. A girl that that's able to stimulate me. Mentally? Mentally? It's different, bro. It hits different. You know, you're able to teach me something. Mm -hmm. You ask me a question and I'm just like, wow, I don't even know how to answer that. That's that's incredible to me. That's incredible to me. That's 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 bigger than any type of sexual thing that women usually do to try to turn you on. Compa yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it was different. And I, I really, really like that. So hopefully I get to see her again. Hopefully I see her. Most of the time, oh, you know what my I mean? dog, my dog got a crush. Yeah, guys. I, got, I got a little crush. My you know what I mean? And it's crush, not even you know like I'm saying. I would, and it's a it's a good girl. I need, so I'm happy I need, for you, bro. yeah, I need, I need friendship too. You know, most women yeah, think like we need Yo. to be able to talk after we sit here and fuck, bro. If yeah. we want to be together, yeah, like like I'm, it's not all just about looks and, and and sex, and that's a that's a very important part. But at the end of the night, when you got a vent or you got you want to talk or yeah. you just want to chill, like. You got to be somewhat compatible, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, even if I'm like not with her, I would love to get with somebody like you. Yeah. The mentality. The bro. mentality. I was very turned on by the mentality. It wasn't even just like a physical attraction. Yeah. I was, I was physically attracted a to A real her. boss bitch, bro. I'm telling you. Like, like, like she is yeah, like a boss, like, you know, very independent. She was putting me on game on, on certain things. And I was like, wow, like you're very intelligent, you know? And I, I like that shit. I really do. That shit is such a turn on. Yeah, I, man. I don't know about you guys. But. Intellect is the, is the one of the sexiest things on earth, bro. Like the bot, I say it all the time. The body's cool, bro. But yeah. the way you think and the way you move and your integrity, morals, all that shit combined, bro, is what really makes a full package. You yeah, know what I'm saying like, and I was I was just like, wow, because there's a misconception out there with women where it's like they think that men love hoes. No, we love fucking them. That's it. Yeah. But you'll never see a hoe really get wife by a guy that she wants to be wife by. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. Because a man that knows his worth, I'll hit you. I mean, we could go have fun tonight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in the morning, I'm going back to my life. You're going back to your life. Like, there ain't no yeah. compatibility, bro. And that's, that's the thing. Is like, that's why, like, I told her the entrepreneur life is crazy. It's fucking wild. It's different. You know, some people can't deal with the pressure. You know, they and can't. And the inconsistency. They can't deal with it. You know, you're not, you're not, <laughs> you're not guaranteed that check by Billy. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. You're not, exactly. you're not guaranteed, you know, for your client to hit you up that day. 
You know, you're just praying to God most of the time. <laughs> you're like, and well, working and, and just and, trying to figure other shit out. That's yeah. why I feel like that's why most people that build their own businesses have multiple businesses. Because when they were first starting out, they're like, damn, well, if this one doesn't work, that one might. And if that one doesn't work, that one might. And if that one doesn't work, that one might. Yep. So they have like all the, like, they're just working on their own shit. And then eventually, like, it only takes one business to take off to then fund the others. And now in 10 years, you're like, nigga, I have four businesses just running. Yeah. And they make this much. We pay this much in taxes. Like, it's just, it's a different type of mentality, bro. But it's scary because I remember being, being in the workplace and thinking that way. And being scared of like, damn, nigga, I need to, I, I have to be able to pay my rent. Like, I have to be able to pay my rent. I can't just go, like, that's the, that's, that's the mentality of a worker. I can't just go and risk it. Yeah. And it's like, nigga, well, then you ain't going, you got to risk it, bro. Yeah. What are you willing to risk? Deadass. That that's what ass. it comes down to. You know, I told her this too. I said, yo, taking no risk is, 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 the, is a bigger risk. Taking no risk is taking a bigger risk. Taking no risk is guaranteeing that you're going to fail, bro. Yeah. Real shit. Yeah. Like, it's just a guarantee that and you might not fail all the way in five years, 10 years, 15 years, but you're going to wake up and be 55 one day and realize you can't ever stop working. Yeah. And that's fucking trash. Dead ass. And like, um, super trash. I'm sorry, bro. That cigar smoke's killing me. Hold on. I got to open the door. Hot box. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this bro, nigga like, worked at Corona for fucking seven years, bro. Got, and he they, wants to complain about one cigar. They got ventilation, the bro. We're here. in a little room. This, bro, this this room is really tiny. Hopefully, we get into like a, a nice, decent background with a fucking sky view. You know what I mean? Nah, we're gonna and get shit. there one day, man. People think that everything is a joke, and so it's not funny no more. <laughs> we got season. <laughs> we got season two coming, guys. So I hope you guys are ready for all that bullshit, man. Because we about to get crazy in this bitch, bro. Yo, we're we gonna start crazy. doing some different shit, man. Y'all yeah. gotta stay tuned for sure, for sure. For real. For sure. But one thing that I've learned over the years, bro, is that love doesn't get the job done. Tough love gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like when you were a kid and you didn't listen, and your mom's like, honey, please, honey, please, baby, please, until she's like, yo, get the fuck off of it. And she smacks you in your fucking head. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you listen. Yeah. All the love she showed you before that didn't work. That tough love. That worked. You know what I'm saying? And I'm starting to realize that shit, bro. Like, most people that are successful in life, they're people are like, oh, they're so tough on their kids or they're so tough on their workers or they're so tough on whatever the fuck. But it's like, nah, bro. Like, that's what gets, that's what got them to where they're at and that's what keeps the shit moving. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, ultimately, bro, that's just my opinion. Y'all could go down in the comments and let us know how y'all feel about that. But I really feel like that. Tough love gets the job done. No cap. Yeah, I mean, like some people don't fucking listen. They don't. They don't listen unless you talk to them to a certain way, like, and you treat them a certain way. That's the only. That's the only way they're gonna learn. You know, like you ever see the people that don't learn until like something really bad happens, mm -hmm. and then they learn. Those are the type of people. I'm. I'm kind of like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'll have I'll have somebody give me the best advice over and over and over again, but I'm like, nah. Let me just learn the fucking hard way. And sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's not. And tough Listen, love man, everybody's is, is, on is their what own it journey, is. Bro. Yeah. Everybody's on their own journey. But you got to let people fucking bump their head, man. I'm telling you, going back to the same shit of like, yeah, not letting people not being the shoulder to cry on and shit. It's like, bro, like you got to let people. Sometimes you can't keep giving advice to the same people, bro. Like you just got to cut the line and be like, Listen, bro, I've given you plenty of advice. You never listen to it. So at this point, bro, if you got a question, don't come to me. You never listen to any of the answers I gave you before. So what the fuck is the difference now? Not go figure it out, nigga. See what you do. Go for it. Yeah. If you like it, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah bro. That's that. That's that's really really true. And we know people personally. We tried doing that too. We tried. We tried giving them advice, and then we just started giving them hard fucking, hard fucking uh, tough yeah, love. Hard love, bro. It is and, what it is. Especially love. especially when we're we're all grown men, bro. And it's your buddy, bro. It's like I don't treat my friends like a little fucking kid. You're a grown ass man. Get out there and figure it the fuck out, bro. Yeah. There's plenty of ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever situation you're in, you might not want to hear the solution. And that's usually what it is. But you doing the thing that you thought was right got you to this fucked up position. Yeah. So, are you going to keep just not listening to nobody, keep doing what you've been doing? Or are you going to fucking listen to somebody for once? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it's all choices. Mm -hmm. Like, Jay Prince said, bro, every day that we wake up, we get two things. 
as a chance and a choice. Yeah, I saw that. That's facts. It's that like you true. got a chance and a choice, bro. You have the chance. Now the choice is up to you whether you want to take it or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's up to you. You know, but I don't know, bro. Like I feel like we got to face our biggest fears too. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way you grow, bro. Yeah. Like that's the only for, way and you there's grow. different there's a lot of different fears. Mhm. Like I saw I forgot who said it, man, but he's like one of it's it's a guy that we know. You know that we see on social media. He's just, uh, he's very successful, and he it was like a little meme thing or a little comment that he had on his post, and it was like, "Yo, I had to face my biggest fear. I had to face my mom dying." So that's my biggest that's fear. The worst man. He said, and "Once I overcame that, it was like it was it was different. It was crazy. It was like he can you know go through anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because that's that's a biggest fear. That's yeah, a big bro, fear. That, that's most of our biggest fear. You know, man. Losing, but it's a, it's a fear that all, we all have to face at some point. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, that's what he but, was trying to. Yeah, that's what he was trying to true. say. But it's true. Like honestly, bro, it sounds so cliche, and you see it on memes all the time and shit. But like, you never know what you're made of until you go through something. Yeah. And that's just how it goes, bro. Like you might think like, yo, I could I couldn't handle that. But and then you go through it and you're like, damn, nigga, like it fucking sucked and it hurt, but I got through it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I never would have thought I could have. But that's how life goes, bro. You never know what the fuck you're made of until you go through something, guys. So go through something, man. Real shit. I say it every pod, bro. Go. Everybody just wants to shoot straight to the top and start balling. One, yeah. my nigga, <laughs> go through it. Like go. Learn. You're not gonna appreciate it if you get it off the rip. Yeah, that's, that's why most of the suicides are amongst people that that are in the top three percent of earners. Yeah. Most suicides, their kids are killing themselves. Why? Because nigga, you have no sense of pride. You don't do nothing, nothing for yourself, and everybody knows that's mommy's money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. shit like that. It's like you gotta go out there and get get it on your own, bro. And like, like uh Andrew Carnegie, that's that was the richest, most successful fucking entrepreneur in America's history. And that that was one of the things he said. He's like, yo, one of the best things for a child is for him to be born into poverty. Because you you have no choice but to figure it the fuck out. Yeah. You have you, no choice. You're no choice. There ain't whatsoever. no safety net. There ain't nobody to call. There ain't none of that. You got to fucking figure something out. Yeah, exactly. And that pressure is what builds something. You know what I'm saying? But when you don't have that pressure on you and you just like, you get a Ferrari when you turn 16, like you, you don't value the Ferrari. You don't know the value of money because you was just a car that somebody gave it's you. But so nigga, that's three hundred thousand dollars that most people would never see in their fucking life. Yeah, that's so you know true. What I'm that's so it's true. Like, I, that was like me, bro. Like I noticed, I treat my two thousand three Honda Accord like my fucking baby compared to my two thousand thirteen Ford Focus that I got as a graduation mm-hmm. gift that I didn't work for. I exactly. did work for it, but I didn't actually pay for it. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? You didn't know the value your, of money. Yet. You didn't know the value of money. So like now, like I treat that car like. Like it's a fucking Ferrari. You have, you to, know bro. what I mean. You like I got into a crash, bro. Not even two weeks later, I had a new bumper. I had new mm-hmm. headlights. I, bro, I got brand new tires and shit. I was like, fuck that. You nah, know what bro, I mean? You got to, man. Like ultimately, bro. Especially when it comes to shit like that, you gotta take care. Of, you gotta take care of it. But yeah, bro. Like a lot of, I feel like a lot of youngins, bro, don't don't understand the value of money, and they just like. We're, we live in a generation where it is the easiest time in history to make money. Yeah, we you know are. What I'm saying you got 18 year old kids that invested in a Bitcoin nigga and now they're billionaires. Yeah. You know or, what I'm or saying? They're like, just, or they're just social media influencers yeah, and they're making like, six figures a year. Exactly. You like, know? You, the, shit has changed so much. You don't need to be a lawyer or a doctor or a fucking judge to make great money anymore. Yeah. Like, as a matter of fact, most influencers, I'm not going to say most. The top percentage of the influencers make way more money than any fucking doctor you know. I believe that. Like Logan Paul and them niggas, they each made like twenty five fucking million last yeah, year. Yeah, they bro. yeah they bought like a and fucking that wasn't including million. the fight that he had with Floyd Mayweather. That was like another fifty million or hundred million, whatever the fuck they were guaranteed. Yeah, like these niggas are racking up, and it's all from influence on social media. Yeah, that's how they got there. Yeah. So it's like nowadays, bro, like. I don't know, bro. I feel like it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, though. Because, again, like, some people don't, like, it's like, nigga, you didn't have to work for it. You put up two videos, nigga, and now you're rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's great, nigga. If that's you're in that position, you're like, fuck yeah, nigga, all I had to do was just put up two videos and now I'm fucking rich. But it's like, bro, I, I just feel like when you actually have to work for it, like, it just, it's so much better when you get it. Yeah. So much better when you get it, bro. Yeah, bro. It feels better. It feels better when you know, like, hey, I did this. I can't accomplished this. Like, nigga, I earned this. Yeah. You, you can't wouldn't have it if it away. wasn't for me. You can't I take this. Yeah. Shit. You can't take this away from me. You know what I mean? 
That's the best fucking feeling in the world. You can't say shit about it. I did this on my own, my own muscle, motherfucker. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Round of applause to all the people that are getting it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? Grinding and just believing in yourself. It's all, that's all it really takes, bro. Nobody else has to believe. You got to believe. Yeah, and you got to believe, you know? And obviously, you got to work hard. Yeah, you know? facts. You got to put in the work behind that shit. And, you, you, know, you know? Put in the work, set up the team, fund it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you're doing, especially if you're trying to start your own business, just know you're going to spend bread and not see it back for a while. And exactly. by a while, years. Yeah. Most successful businesses never, they didn't even break even until like the fifth to eighth year like it takes time bro yeah you know what i'm saying but believe in yourself man it's all possible bro i'm telling you if somebody's gonna clip this nigga in 10 years and be like damn bro look how far these boys then came dog yeah in that little room with the little pictures behind them now they have a real s- uh, studio set you know what i'm saying like a real production like and also, it's gonna happen because we believe it bro yeah. like we know it's gonna and happen people, we're and, just waiting for it and people, like, swear to God. and people need to people need to like really understand this you know being admired and being a follower is two different things like you know i got into a little dispute with somebody and they said no you're a follower you know you're a follower you know you 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 got you got tattoos you're a follower you woke up one day you saw it and you wanted to be like that person and i said i admired the artwork right i admired that if i admire something and it's not the same as being a follower you know I really feel like, oh, no, you're just a follower. Like, that's, you just woke up one day, you did that. And he also said you're a walking billboard, which is true. I said, you know, you're right about that. It is very true. Because he's like, what do, what do people ask you when you walk up to somebody? Your free advertisement for this, for this artist. Mm-hmm. And it's true. That's fact. I didn't look at it like that's that. That's fact. That's very true. I told him that. But I disagreed with the part of being a follower. Just because you want nah, tattoos. it's just being inspired, bro. You know? Everybody, bro, I don't give a being fuck who inspired. you are. Michael Jackson was inspired by, by somebody. somebody else. Lil Wayne was inspired by somebody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He, t- he talked about it in a video, actually, about exactly that. How he's like, bro, like, I got Thug Life on my stomach tatted at, like, 16 because I loved Pac and I looked up to Pac and he inspired me, bro. Yeah. That's all it is. You look up to somebody, you but niggas don't have the fucking ego to say that. Like, yo, exactly. I look up to that yeah. no, motherfucker. Like, yeah. bro, it's okay to be like, yo, that's somebody that I want to be like. They're successful. Yeah. They have a great family, beautiful wife, beautiful children. They got their money right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're living their best life. Exactly. Why the fuck wouldn't I want to be like that? Why would, do I want to be like fucking Jimmy on the corner selling Nick sacks? Yeah. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm, like, nah. And bro. then, like, you got to think about it. I'm an artist. We are artists. We make music. We like art. We like to be creative we like to be in a creative space a lot of people don't get that Mm -hmm. they don't get that so being admired i love being admired if you admire me man that's big that's big bro you know what yeah, I mean, nah, and that's bro. and that's Facts. our goal. We want we want to admire people, us, bro. If you look up to us, man, we 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 love you. We appreciate yeah. you and shit because that's something that it's crazy. Like we were literally just talking about that before we turned the cameras on. I was telling John, I'm like, bro, like I want to be the inspiration for Daltona. Like I want us to be the the guys that these kids look up to. You don't got to go sell drugs. You don't got to go rob nobody. You don't got to go do fucking you know ppp fraud you don't got to do none of that shit if you put in the work for a certain amount of time and you stay with it you'll make it it doesn't matter what you do yeah exactly like it doesn't that, that's what the fuck that that's the message i want to send out there for the people around here because i grew up around here and i know that i know the hopelessness that that resides in third side there's like a lot of people don't have hope bro they're broke yeah they're fucked up they're bro. broke in the heart they're broke and they're broken their pocket they're broken their heart they didn't have fathers growing up their mom's always not home she's working or whatever the fuck's going on and they have no hope they don't see no way out bro yeah and dead ass like for Daltona specifically I want us to grow to the point to where we're like bro like like people can look up to us and be proud and be like damn they're from here I could do it too cause that's all it takes yeah whenever sometimes I see, when you're like yeah. damn this nigga grew up three streets away from me and he's there yeah oh i'm going yeah when I, that's what yeah. Dolph said you, you know, know like, Dolph got inspired by boosie Dolph yeah. so Dolph pulled up to boosie to sell him two zips bro he wasn't damn. even rapping damn he wasn't even rapping he was just doing his thing and boosie's like i need some bud they hooked him up and when he pulled up he's like yo i saw boosie in a bentley i was like nigga i gotta rap yeah 
He was inspired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, He's like, nah, exactly. He could do it, nigga. What the fuck? Yeah, that's how I feel about Kodak Black being, you know, only two hours away. Shut up, Rod, Rod Wave. Yeah, Rod Wave. You fucking know what I Fulio, mean? bro. Like, like even Moot Boy. Pootie, yeah, bro, even even Moot Boy. Yeah, Moot Boy. Because now, because like, there's videos of, of Kodak Black singing to Moot Boy's song. Boot Boy's that dude, bro. You know what I mean? And Moot he's from right here. Dude. He's from Hot right around boy, the corner. Like, bro, there's so many dudes that you could look up to in this state. Hot Boy, LPB Pootie, fucking uh, uh, Glock 9 before he, he got arrested. Like, there's people yeah, that are up. from right here, bro. Like, right here. And it's a, a few of them now. Yeah. Like, before, you didn't hear about too many Central Florida artists like that. You know what I'm saying? Like... Most artists used to come from down south, from from Miami area, Broward area. You know what I'm saying? Ace Hood, yeah. uh, Rick Ross, uh, um, Kodak. All them niggas are from down there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never really heard about Central Florida. Now that's just starting to pop, too. Yeah, you got Hot Boy. That's what I'm saying. You got yeah. all these dudes, bro. Yeah. Like, there's a bunch of them that go in, bro. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whoop. Nigga, like, whoop. Nigga, I've been listening to that nigga since I was a fucking young. Yeah, like, I still 18. play. Yeah, I still you know play I mean? his like, music. You know what I mean? Fact. Which is crazy. He doesn't even have to really continue to make music because he made some fucking hits. That's people are gonna listen to forever, especially people from here. People from that Florida. are, from, yeah, people from around here, bro. That's the vibe. Yeah, like you might show that to somebody from another state, and like, nigga, that's just garbage. Turn it off. But to us, nigga, yeah, that's that Florida shit. I sent that nigga. shit to, to one of my boys from up north. He's like, yeah, I said yeah, I this Florida shit. Yeah. Just don't like, worry about it, bro. When yeah. you come down here and you see the turn up, you'll get it. Yeah, like you'll, we're, you'll get it. We're different. <laughs> we're different down south. We get dirty, man. Nah, for real, for real, bro. You know the dirty south. The dirty south, man. But um, but yeah, man. Last point I wanted to make for the day, guys. Just be yourself because people are going to fucking love you or they're going to hate you regardless. All right? People love you. They hate you. You can't change it. You can't do nothing about it. Just keep grinding. Keep believing in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Keep checking up on the people I love you. And the, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And your friends. And keep checking. And keep taking care of the people, you know what I'm saying, that are there because they love you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. That's the that's the message I want to leave y'all off with. That's Straight it, up. man. You know how I go up Real in here, man. Diggity dong dang dong dang. Diggity dog dang. We're going over yonder. But I'll tell you what, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go over to Patreon. Check us out over there if you haven't done so already. Get yourself a little bit of merch because this is going to be the last OG merch, bro. Once this is gone in, you know what I'm saying, five years, whoever has these shirts might win something big. Like this original shirt. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead. Get yourself a little bit OG. of merch, man. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.